mommy are playing roll and color. And we're going to be doing these two. So we're going to, we have the chart, the dices, the dices, the numbers, and we have the colors. And we have pencils, and we have a dice. So, and click the subscribe button down below if you give me a big thumbs up and help me out. All right, so Tiny and I are here today, and we are going to work on um, stained glass windows and kind of have it like a little game. So, obviously, this is going to be something that, that's a little bit fun, a little bit more colorful. Um, we've chosen two different stained glass windows. There's a bunch of them out there. This one came from supercoloring.com, and that one came with colorwithfuzzy.com. But there's a lot of them out there if you just kind of do a search for stained glass windows. So what we've done is we have, um, part of this is kind of going to be like fun because stained glass can be very random. And so if you're intentionally coloring something, a lot of times we kind of work ourselves into a pattern. Um, so this tries to make kids kind of think outside the box and use random patterns. Um, it's also good for early math um, because obviously we're going to be using dice here and children are going to have to be able to add to figure it out. So we've chosen 12. We got 12 colors here. We've made a grid up here. So it's got your dice all the way up to 12 and then we've marked it with a color. Um, and I've not only drawn the color that matches with our, our colored pencil, but I've also wrote the name. So, you know, we've got it kind of really pretty spring colors. Okay, so part of this too um, will be that the random part is we're going to roll dice. Now, you can do every other, like roll one dice and then, of course, roll two dice. That'll kind of give you a different um, pattern of numbers. That'll get you the ability to do one and probably easier to get the one, twos, and threes if you're rolling just a single dice. Uh, if you have multiple kids, you can have them pass around the dice and roll, um, one child roll, and then they all pick that color and, and go. Um, or you can kind of one person roll, one person roll, whatever works for you and your family um, to be able to do this. So as we go through, we're going to roll the dice. We'll okay. both start off with one. And then we'll You grab a dice. Now, I will go first for you. Eh, it doesn't matter. Just and then we you would do well. Paper, you got to pick a start point. Let's let's say this too. So I pick the middle. So Tiny is going to start with the middle, and then she's going to come out and do the inner circle, the outer circle, then the little circles, and we're going to go through that. You got a lot of coloring. I have a question. Why do? How are we going to do this? So how? What number we roll? Do you and is the color that you start with? So roll. So I have to color the middle? Jade green. Now with mine, it's a little bit more like this. So I'm actually just going to pick this bottom one here. And I got a five. So I get mango. Mango. Ooh. Mango. So, how, so after we're done with this and coloring probably a half of this, we're going to do is like, um, do is we're going to start with both. So roll two. Two after we do these. We'll just go back and forth. Okay. So five plus two equals seven. Very good. So what color is seven? Seven bubble, bubble gum. gum. So I have to color seven of them? <laughs> so what you do is Tiny has colored the center. So just pick one of these and then you're just gonna go in order. So pick one of the next ring out. Mm, bubble gum is my favorite color. So just color that block. I got five and three, so that's eight, so I get magenta. Magenta? Magenta. What color is that? Like a pink? It's sort of a pink, purplish sort of color. Okay. So four plus two equals six. So you've got turquoise. Turquoise. Oh, that's my favorite color. It's like a snow color. Oh, is it? Yep. And I've got seven, so I get bubble gum this time. Ooh. I think ours is going to look beautiful. I'm sure it will. So keep these in a minute. Much. And the neat part of this... It's one. I have to do one. Go for it. And the neat part of this is it will be completely Two. random, and we're uh, just going to continue to roll back and forth 
and we're going to continue to color.
All right, so here we are. We got finished with both of these. So Tiny's got her round one, and I've got this one. They came out really pretty. What do you think? They're good. You like them? All right, well, thanks for joining us today, and I uh, hope you guys have fun doing yours. We're all done now. You, If you have fun with me and Mommy, and click the links down below if you need your supplies. Bye! And you, I hope you have fun with me and Mommy.